Oh, yo, yo, it's lit up in here. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, this is A Circuit. Thank you so much for staying with us. And I hope you guys are enjoying the music by DJ Talk. Like he said, just send him your request. New music, um, cool type of music. Uh, his handle is uh, DJ underscore, wait, just say it. You're DJ, yeah. DJ underscore talk. talk. Yes, yes. DJ yes. Talk. yes, yes. So make sure you hit us up and, uh, you know, just tell us where you're watching us from but right about now let's just go into the world of film theater and i want us to talk uh to two gentlemen who are very um well known and very you know conversant with this particular field and today we are talking um about the international the uh the international festival theater international Fest festival and uh, the thing about this festival is first of all there's so many countries participating the u.s the the south africa kenya so many countries coming together and this is just giving us a platform you know a chance to also showcase what we have as kenya and they're here to tell us more about that more about the festival to tell us you know what to expect how we can look out of it and you know all that kind of stuff thank you so much gentlemen for coming through patrick and kevin thank you very much for having us yes thank you. yes um it's so good to have you you guys especially patrick you know you've been in this industry for quite some time yeah sure, sure. all right so maybe we can just start by knowing um what is your role in this festival uh, so my name is Kevin Kimani. Um, I'm the festival director and mm -hmm. the founder of the Kenya International Theatre Festival. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Um, Patrick Okech. Mm -hmm. uh, I am one of the media liaison uh, people for the festival. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So this year's uh, theme, this is the, the third um, time we're having this, yes. uh, is about culture and, you know, that kind of interaction. What informed this year's theme? Um, this year's theme is, uh, as you pointed out, mm -hmm. it's sharing cultures mm -hmm. and experiences through theater. Mm -hmm. uh, and therefore, this, the theme was informed by, by the need to share our various cultures mm -hmm. and to, to share our experiences mm -hmm. and, and to share them through theater. Because yeah. this is a theater festival. Mm -hmm. Because we, are, we, have, we come from various backgrounds. Mm -hmm. We have very rich cultures as, as a country, as Kenya. Mm -hmm. And we also want to see what others uh, have mm -hmm. in terms of their cultures so that they can come and share so that we, we can learn. It is, it is an entertainment platform. It is a learning mm -hmm. platform. Um, and it is a platform where people can network mm -hmm. and be able to share cultures and experiences. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So, of course, there's so many activities that will be taking place. But um, uh, for the past uh, two or three, two. Yes. festivals yes. have there been involvement of other you know countries other than kenya or is this the first time where you're involving more countries maybe patrick you can tell us that uh there have been um mm -hmm. interest from other people mm -hmm. even in the past yeah and uh this year we're seeing um even up to now mm -hmm. people are still interested in coming mm -hmm. and we are inviting everyone mm -hmm. from across board mm -hmm. uh, we're inviting people from even community theaters mm -hmm. uh, in the villages in the centers mm -hmm. youth groups that are interested mm -hmm. uh, churches mm -hmm. that are interested because our our, our main aim mm -hmm. is disseminating our cultures uh, and appreciating even other people's culture yeah. through theater uh, we'd like uh, a platform where people showcase mm -hmm. the best of their best mm -hmm. through theater and even um, let people understand make people understand them mm -hmm. uh, some things we do people might not understand why we do them yes. for example if you were to to do a traditional uh, initiation ceremony mm -hmm. through theater yes. and the people appreciate that mm -hmm. Uh, instead of just uh, doing an academic explanation to it mm -hmm. uh, or doing a just an ordinary conference mm -hmm. um, theater brings out the best of it yeah yeah the creativity the, yes and just like a different angle yes that is not too serious but it's also informative right oh uh, you see mm -hmm. theater is not uh, entirely new yeah I mean it's, it's been used over time yeah. to express ideas mm -hmm. opinions and sometimes um, some things that you do people are not really comfortable talking about them yeah. plainly yeah. Uh, you put them in a way you package them in a way that um, 
is more acceptable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there could be a political opinion, religious opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, you put them, you package them in a way that people will look at, will give people an opportunity to reflect mm -hmm. and, you know, provoke a discussion mm -hmm. and, and then give people a platform where um, they can be heard. Yeah. 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 Without confrontation, mm -hmm. without raising temperatures. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So theater is one of those uh, um, platforms mm -hmm. and uh, we are giving people opportunity to do that in this particular festival mm -hmm. all right so i want us to talk about the various things that will be going on mm -hmm. i've seen there's of course the opening ceremony the closing ceremony there'll be various theme nights mm -hmm. and you know various people showcasing various things so maybe you can just like paint for us a picture you know to make sure that we all uh, enticed to come and participate and you know be part of this like what kind of activities will be going on Sure. Um, uh, the festival starts uh, on the 6th to the 11th of November. Mm -hmm. That is next week from Tuesday yes. all the way to Sunday. So it's a six-day festival and therefore there is a lot in the six days mm -hmm. uh, as you mentioned. Mm -hmm. uh, the first day which is the 6th of uh, November will be the opening ceremony mm -hmm. uh, whereby we will sample various performances and from from Kenya and across the broad mm -hmm. uh, the the b and from other countries mm -hmm. uh, and also be able to officially start the festival mm -hmm. uh, and then on 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 Wednesday and Thursday that is the 7th and the 8th we will have a national conversation on the current state of theater mm -hmm. uh, from ev from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. discussing on issues that affect theater that is number one the legislation mm -hmm. how theater and the media can work together to make sure that we promote theater yeah. and also create that theater going culture mm -hmm. and then uh, we will have performance Performances from 4 p.m. daily uh, uh, by by various various groups, Kenyan groups, and then mm -hmm. in the evening of, of Wednesday we'll have um, a Swedish theme night. Mm -hmm. uh, the team from Sweden will come, will perform, will be performing their play, mm -hmm. uh, and then on Thursday at 4 p.m. we'll be having a play uh, by called Dead Men, and then in the evening of, of Thursday it will be an Egyptian theme night. Um, mm -hmm. Teams from two teams from Egypt will perform. Mm -hmm. Then on, on, on Friday there will be workshops during the day, workshops on directing, mm -hmm. um, acting, uh, production design, puppetry. Uh, and dance. Mm -hmm. Specifically, we are bringing two two national two Egyptians to come and facilitate a water puppetry, mm -hmm. and the team from Sweden will uh, will facilitate puppetry. Mm -hmm. Then on the evening we will have we will have Liquid Arts perform their play Sabotage. Mm -hmm. Then on Friday evening we will have the Canadian Theme Night where uh, the team from Canada will perform their play. Mm -hmm. Then on Saturday we'll be concluding the workshops in the morning. Mm -hmm. Then uh, at at uh, at two p.m. we'll have a play by Son of Man International national called Maxwell mm -hmm. then at 4 p.m. We, uh, we will have a play by uh, prevail arts company that is much stick men mm -hmm. and then in the evening we'll have South African theme night mm -hmm. then on Sunday uh, at, uh, at 2 p.m. we'll have a play called roses of blood by thespians assemble mm -hmm. uh, then at at 4 p.m. we'll have a play by Nakuru theater players called um, Nash the love doctor mm -hmm. and then uh, at 7 p.m. we'll have the closing ceremony we'll have uh, the theater company of Kenya perform and also showcase various groups that are coming perform to perform from Rwanda and Uganda as mm -hmm. well mm -hmm. so it is a, a week full of activities yeah. uh, the tickets for the shows are available at MOOC.com mm -hmm. uh, the sh 4 p.m. shows are going for 500 mm -hmm. and then the 7 p.m. shows are going for 1000 mm -hmm. so it's a f week full of activities yeah yeah so uh, people can come throughout the week yeah. and uh, have lots of entertainment yes. because we want to create a theater going culture where mm -hmm. people can come and sample the various productions from mm -hmm. various countries yes yeah, sounds yeah. very diverse very rich you know all these cultures uh, presented and people get to learn a lot yeah. but you know just going a bit back on, on talking about the state of theater mm -hmm. you know in the country